Hi everyone. Today's video explains something that is often asked of uh, mariners or seafarers or students or ship's officers. And the question is, what is the meaning of width and depth of navigable water for ships? Now, the width and depth of navigable water refers to the minimum dimensions of a waterway required for safe vessel passage. That is the definition of it. But what does it actually mean? So if we talk about the width, the width is the horizontal distance across the navigable channel, allowing for the vessel's beam or the vessel's width rather and maneuverability. Wider channels are necessary in busy or winding waterways to prevent collisions and allow safe passage of vessels in both directions. If you look at the diagram here, you will understand that when it comes to width and depth, remember the width of the navigable water is measured from the ordinary high water mark on one side of the water to the ordinary high water mark on the other side. A body of water will be considered navigable if it's wide, deep and calm enough for a water vessel to pass safely. Waterways can be rivers, canals, lakes or other stretches of water that are suitable for navigation. If we talk about the depth, the depth or navigable depth is a term used to describe the physical level in a waterway with a muddy waterbed where ships can still safely maneuver. The vertical distance from the water's surface to the seabed, it must be sufficient for vessels draft, that is a distance from the water line to the lowest point of the ship's hull and takes into account tide variations silt buildup and seasonal changes. Channels with adequate depth reduce the risk of grounding. Navigable water depth and width are typically determined by government authorities of port operators and are marked on navigable charts. Regular dredging and maintenance ensure that channels stay navigable for commercial and recreational vessels. Finally, Waters with small water depths or channel widths are considered restricted waters. The relative width of a navigable water Way is the ratio of the waterway's width to the width of the ship. When the ratio of channel width to ship width is less than or equal to 1, the ship maneuverability is significantly affected. Thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you soon with my next video. Bye for now.